Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Erin Ramsey. The NRL Integrity Unit will check video of two Melbourne NRL players in a hotel room with what appears to be white powder on the table. It's understood Brandon Smith and Cameron Munster were partying ahead of the Dally M Medal Awards overnight. Former Melbourne star Billy Slater says it's disappointing. I understand people make mistakes, but at the same time, disrespecting your position you hold in, in the game, and it is a privileged one. It comes a day after Warriors player Reese Walsh confessed to using cocaine after being arrested on the Gold Coast. Do-it-yourself rapid end. Antigen tests for COVID-19 will be available to use at home from the 1st of November. The move will do away with long queues and waiting days for a result. The turnaround time for results is just 20 minutes. Queensland Health is trying to track the source of a COVID case in Brisbane. A man in his 30s tested positive and has been isolated. He works in the aviation industry but has no record of recently travelling overseas or interstate. A shortage of truck drivers caused by COVID and breast Exit has led to four days of panic buying of fuel in Britain. Some companies say 90% of their petrol stations are dry. And a powerful earthquake has rocked the Greek island of Crete. The magnitude 6 quake has left at least one person dead and injured nine others. Reports of people being trapped in the rubble of collapsed buildings. To sport now and celebrations for Tom Trebojevic after winning the Dally M medal for the best player in the NRL this year. The manly fullback polled 30 35 votes. Penrith's Nathan Cleary finished with 30. South Sydney's Cody Walker, 29. Melbourne's Craig Bellamy was also named Coach of the Year. And AFL boss Gil McLaughlin says they'll review the start time of the grand final before it returns to the MCG next year. It follows strong support for the twilight start used in Perth this year. In entertainment news, R&B artist R. Kelly has been found guilty on racketeering and sex trafficking charges. The 54-year-old singer accused of running a criminal enterprise that recruited women and young girls for sex. And Kendall Jenner's boyfriend, Devin Booker, has tested positive to COVID-19. The NBA star revealed his diagnosis during a live stream where he also declined to reveal if he was vaccinated or not. That's your latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update.